Hey, it's Knowles. I'm going to show you now how to sneak into just about any event that you want to be into, especially one that doesn't have severe security. Um, and all you need is a few tools and a bit of confidence. But first, a disclaimer. Don't go into an event with box cutters and do something crazy. Be cool when you get there. Second of all, recognize that some events are pretty tight. You may not be able to get through. And thirdly, if this works for you, um, help me out on an experiment because I understand that YouTube videos now are being seen and uh, being shared if people interact. So if you like what you hear in this video, just comment or you know favorite it or whatever else. But I want to see if this thing gets a lot of comments, if it gets more views than I've been getting lately. Okay, uh, without any further ado, rule number one in trying to get into places, and these are real tested uh, uh, tricks here. I've, I've tried these out and I've been able to get into concerts and to uh, very uh, elite diplomatic events in DC. Uh, first thing, the equipment. You would be surprised by simply carrying a clipboard and a walkie-talkie. It gives you a sense of authority, but it's not putting on a badge and pretending you're being somebody else. Just carry the clipboard, carry the walkie-talkie. When you're talking to people, give it an occasional beep as if someone important is trying to reach you. It doesn't have to be somebody on the other end. Secondly, be confident. Walk in like you own the place. Really, in your mind, just know that this event is your event and all these other people are being so helpful and wonderful. You don't have to be mean. Okay, once you get the tools and the confidence down, usually at an event, there are multiple parties, caterers, event planners, security, volunteers, and you can take advantage of the fact that not everybody knows everybody else. So you can use a name, like Debbie said we need to be over there at 9 o'clock, and they probably won't know who Debbie is, but they'll assume that there's a Debbie. Or better yet, listen for a little while and see if you can hear a name that's being thrown about, and then you can credit your uh, task to uh, an order that you've been given from Debbie or whoever else. Okay, what's next? Um, find entrances that are not like the front and center ones because those are usually well guarded with a lot of people. Better, you're better off with sort of a stage entrance, a VIP entrance, one that has maybe a guard but there are a lot of people coming in and out. Uh, those are a lot easier to get, get into and you can turn things around instead of trying to go in and say I need to get in you can give the person at the door a command or a message that you're delivering. Uh, somebody's going to be coming in here with a bunch of flowers. Um, are you going to be able to receive them and let them in? You know, and once you get that, uh, you know, approved, um, they see you as an authority figure, even if there are no flowers coming. And if you really want to get hardcore, you could bring flowers or bring chairs. I found that is a very easy way. If I can find a few chairs and I go to a door with those chairs, nobody questions you because they figure that you're just trying to load up on more chairs. That's a real good one if you can find chairs. Um, so again, interacting with the people, non-confrontational, very confident. If they ask who you are, tell them your name. Give them your license. There's no harm in that. You know, you could even be so bold as to say, why don't you keep my, my license? I'm going to go in there, hang on to my ID, and when I come out, I'll get it back from you. You know, that, it's hard to say no to that. Uh, what else? Uh, if all else fails, the ultimate out is, you know what? I'll check with Denise and we'll clear this up when I get back. And then you politely walk away as if you do and plan on coming back with proof. That way you're not just running away, at which point they're going to chase you down and try to find out what you're about. So there are my tips, and I bet you have some too. Comment below if you have some other tips. Uh, comment anyway, because we do want to see if we can get this video popping, because most of my recent videos are um, So uh, So do that. Oh, here's another one too. The peanuts, you know. If you're eating peanuts, you can't get the wrap, right? You're just hanging around eating peanuts. You could do the shades. I think the shades are a little bit intimidating. So you have to use them selectively, especially if it's, if it's nighttime. But really, if, if you forget all of this, the walkie-talkie, the clipboard, and a little bit of confidence, give it a shot and see where you can get to. And don't do anything bad and let me know what happens. In fact, I'll leave the video response open.
So you can respond with uh, any footage you get from, uh, you know, trying to walk onto an event that you're not supposed to be at, but you're curious what's going on inside. Alright, thanks for watching. And I'm on the set of uh, a new series coming out, The Unlicensed Therapist. Stay tuned for that. Thanks.